The medical examiner says the death of Steelers wide receivers coach Daryl Drake does not appear to be suspicious. He passed away over the weekend at the age of 62. Bob Pompiani joins us with how the team is remembering him and making sure his legacy lives on. Bob? Well, Christine, very sad times with Steeler Nation at this point. The Steelers have spent the last two days, as you know, in mourning. They canceled practice yesterday at St. Vincent College and today as well after the stunning and unexpected death of their popular wide receivers coach, Daryl Drake. All I can tell you is the fields were empty and so were the hearts of so many in the organization. Drake loved to be on the fields at St. Vincent where he impacted all of his players, not just about football life, but about life in general. He was big on that. He was a religious man who always started his receivers meetings with a prayer. Drake influenced so many players and that was in evidence yesterday with the outpouring of tributes on social media. Mike Tomlin will speak for the first time since his death tomorrow morning at 1130 AM and then you know, the team has to get back to work. They have a game coming up. They have practices tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. And the team also plans to pay tribute to Daryl Drake before their game with the Kansas City Chiefs. That's this Saturday, a game you can see here on KDKA. Daryl Drake leaves behind his wife, three daughters, hundreds of players who have benefited from his coaching, leadership, and his teaching. We wish them all the best in this time of trying times. More coming up later in sports. For now, this is Bob Pompiani, KDKA News.